Hello Online Community. My name is Chantal and in this moment, for the past few days, I've been feeling an immense gratitude for the online community that has been forming around me, for the regular faces that I see doing beautiful medicine work, for interacting and weaving and creating and visioning and sharing um, all that is life and the good of life together. So in this moment, I just really wish to thank each and every one of you for being a part of my online community and that I feel this is revolutionary work that we are doing connecting from different places on the earth sharing our medicines one sharing a beautiful song a medicine song it feels like we're in ceremony together especially in this time and I do feel like I'm growing and I'm learning a lot for by sitting in circle with each of you. And there is the space in me that wants to apologize for not always standing in humility and for sometimes getting super excited and that excitement comes from an innocence and an ignorance where sometimes the excitement gets shared and it seems like um, the part that of me that is ever compassionate is not there. And yet it is. Yesterday I was sitting, or no, I was actually walking the land underneath the beautiful golden sun. And I just had this deep, deep feeling in my lungs. I had this feeling in my lungs and I had to face my fears of um, what, what we are meant to be fearing right now, according to everything, which is this uh, virus that infects your lungs and then you're not able to breathe anymore. And um, we all only hear about the deaths and how bad it is and mostly anyway, and that, that fear came, sat in my lungs and I felt the 5G influencing my mind and I felt like, is this real, is this 5G, am I creating it, is it just my mind, but I felt like this whole thing sitting here in my lungs and it was a big journey for me, a, b a little big journey for me to process that fear of um, not being able to breathe um, feeling the feeling that that not being able to breathe actually comes from pain and fear and feeling then into our um, humanity feeling into all the two leggeds on earth um, the ones that are doing deep medicine work as well as mamas and papas and omas and opas grandmothers and grandfathers brothers sisters children um, anybody who is any any two-legged on earth that is faced with um, this and really feeling the people who are sick, the people who are grieving, the people who are affected by this in a way that I feel very blessed to not be in physical ailment or pain in my own body or in any of my family. So feeling extremely grateful and blessed and humbled and compassionate to those who feel and who suffer and who have pain and who has to stay in small spaces um, rural informal settlements and just going into that and it, it really humbled me this experience that I had um, yesterday in the sun and I want to share with you that I feel that the sun is one of the major healing elements here because this is the work of the rainbow. If you, I'm sure many of you know that the deeper that we journey, the more we realize that 
the sun creates rainbow light and that everything is actually made out of this rainbow light. And this is what I feel we are called, being called back to, to being the rainbow tribe, the rainbow warrior, as the prophecies say, to recognize the rainbow light, to step into a different frequency, to create the new earth. And this, this being in the sun currently is a very, very important medicine for all of us, especially because uh, this virus doesn't actually like cold. So even if you drink cold water, if I drink cold water at this moment, it's turning winter here by me. I'm in the, um, in the southern hemisphere. Um, I could feel how that coldness, how it can take everything down into my lungs and my being. So warmth um, is very, very important. And I feel like it very much has to do with the healing golden rainbow vibrations and energy that the sun holds. I wish to share a little bit deeper with you um, just two readings, um, one from the Earth Medicine by Jamie Sams and um, one from the Voices of the Dark Mothers by Mariam Elena, Mariam Ellen Jones. So I'm going to put the phone down and perhaps um, I'll show some images of um, my garden harvest today with my boy. We harvested herbs and mostly wild things that need to be harvested, not really fruits and vegetables. So have a listen to this. I feel like it's very important to listen to this at this time. I feel like a lot of information is coming through me uh, via the rainbow, via great spirits. In this time, I feel very called to serve. So here we go. So the first piece that I would really like to read you is a card that I have drawn from the Voices of the Dark Mothers. And the card that, I, that was chosen is called Gaia, Life Force. And my little boy is sitting next to me, so you might hear some squiggles and wiggles and giggles. <laughs> Gaia gives to you life, breath. All that you are is in her body. You yourself are her in all forms. She lives a life. When she was born, she became in a shining moment of conception, just like you. Like you, she grew and had an infancy and developed and thought and learned to breathe. Out of her, the seas became and out of the great oceans came the ones who give you life. Still, all gathered twisted, matted, divided, and fought to become who you are now. Breathe yourself. Who are you really? Are you a machine, a celebrity in waiting, a number on a payslip, a patient, a worthless piece of nothing much at all? Or are you a luminous, breathing part of her great body? Only you can answer this. You have been told lies and told yourself lies and you have taken yourself far from her in your minds. Still, your bodies breathe her rhythms. You deny she is and cut great pieces out of her to warm yourself and use her as a privy and spit on all she is and still she is you, your own self simply fold it into every cell. What do you do to your body? Do you understand that it is the work of ages, eons, a sacred pact between yourself and the divine within you? Or do you just throw it away and harm it because it disgusts you right now? You find yourself at her door, Gaia, the shining one that breathes with you, the breath of you. You wait for her to answer you, like a school child. Will she scold you for being so bad? You must be a disappointment to her. You have failed at life. She answers lovingly. A woman who is not a woman. A man who is not a man. A being of all forms and potentials trailing life. She is sticky fluid, oozing and steeping with beauty. 
her pores speak to you. You feel how bacterial life is. The bacteria speaks to you in a soft way. They are like living mantras. All is teeming with speech, thought, sexuality, love, potential. My child that became out of me. Your, our journey is a love journey. You and I were born together like two seeds out of one husk. As I grew and learned, I held you, a precious seed. Don't think yourself nothing, even though I shed a million seeds each second. Each is as precious to me as any baby to the most devoted mother, father. I held you and prayed for you until the time came for your birth. You grew with me and knew my story within your bones. Now... Here you are, alive, in a life. The world is changing, the old ways are falling away. My body is deceased and dying, and yet I am strong as ever. I teem with life, hold my hand, and let fear fall away. What is left is our love story, written brighter than ever because of what we have been through. Trust me and life. You plunge your hands and you into the sacred river of existence here. All is turning and you are alive. The next piece that I would like to read comes from the Earth Medicine by Jamie Sams. It is daily readings um, for the clan mothers, the 13 original clan mothers. And we, I am currently actually at the 11th moon cycle and this is what I would like to read to you. She, the, this clan mother is called Walks Tall Woman and she is so relevant as each clan mother is in her time um, to what is happening. So... Joy, joy reclaimed, joy reclaimed in retreat, having lost life's sparkle, I walked to the moon lodge alone, there to find some serenity, I could call up when the need arose, I witnessed the miracle of reclamation, as I counted my blessings once more, my joy returned overwhelming, as through the silence I bore witness to the miracles I had forgotten in my haste. Tonight the moon bursts. Yesterday I taught a child to smile, or a child taught me to smile. This morning I found a rainbow on my doorstep. Tomorrow I want to share my joy with you. Walks tall woman, the clamour of the eleventh moon cycle, reminds us that there is strength in retreat. Sometimes that strength can mean the difference in how we view our lives and the joy we are offered, if we make the time to receive. So my brothers and sisters, let us keep warm. Let us keep the sacred fire alight. Let us do this work together. Let us believe in the truth of the prophecies. Let us believe in the truth of the stars. Let us believe in the truth of Earth Mother. Let us believe in the truth of our medicine community. With much love to you from me, Chantal.